Hey guys, this is Brick, and this is your quick hunting guide to the Nair Skyrock. The Nair Skyla relies on its huge amount of status ailments to destroy its prey. Items like antidotes, cleansers, and energy drinks can all be useful here. But once you know the Nair Skyla's patterns, you should be able to avoid all these attacks with relative ease. Cutting weapons should aim for the belly, impact weapons should aim for the head, and shot weapons should aim for the stinger itself. The spider is weak to both fire and thunder, but because the back of Nair Skyla is actually covered in Gypsaros skin, which negates thunder, I should only recommend bringing fire. Now let's talk primary attacks. A signature move, the Nerskyla will shoot three globs of web out. Stepping in the pools that are left after or getting hit by them will leave you webbed. Spin the circle pad or get hit by a teammate to get out of the webbing. An alternate way to use the web, the Nerskyla will jump back and shoot a single web with really good accuracy, so be ready to dodge this one. If you are webbed, the Nerskyla will sometimes attempt to suck you in, drawing you closer and getting ready to use its next attack. Often used after successfully webbing you, the Nerskyla will attempt to puncture you with its stinger. This attack will often give you the sleep status, so make sure you don't get hit by this. It's easily dodged by not being between the Nerskyla's legs. Often a follow-up to a successful sleep, the Nerskyla will pull out its giant secret jaws and poison you. This attack will normally have a very large telegraph, but it does cover a large area and you need to get out of the way. Running around this can give you a big opening to counterattack. These poison mandibles can come out in different ways though. An alternate telegraph is shown here, and it can also be used coming up from a canopy or landing immediately after a swing. To avoid these, don't stand above the Nerskyla, and whenever it lands, be ready for a possible instant poison attack. The Nerskyla will shoot out thin strands of web and propel itself forward to travel from place to place. Anytime you see one of these come out, simply move to the side. An alternative to this, the Nerskyla will sometimes swing from the ceiling. This attack can land in a body slam and sometimes will land in a poison attack, so be careful. Speaking of body slam, sometimes the spider will take a step back and then body slam forward, simply move to the side. After jittering its front claws a couple times, the Nerskyla will sometimes swing to the left or right. This attack is similar to a monster's tail whip and will often come out in a pair. After dancing its front claws a little longer, the Nerskyla can also do a frontward sweep. This attack can be easily dodged by moving around the monster or getting enough distance. While climbing upside down, the Nerskyla can leak poison out of its back before using an attack. The poison leaking will stop if you break the spider's back off. Stay out from underneath the spider until after it does an attack, then get in for a quick counterattack. The Nerskyla only has one mount shake animation, but it is a huge pain. Immediately hold onto the monster and be ready for a very long animation. When the shaking stops, try and regain as much ground as possible because if it uses it again too quickly, you're going to fall. If the spider uses the same animation twice in a row without any break, don't worry. Capcom hates you and they wanted you to fall. Overall, this fight is extremely varied and has a lot of new mechanics. Bring lots of supplies, get ready for some surprise poison jowls, and good luck killing the spider. My name is Brick, and I'm done with you people.